Characters. Characters are one of the most important ingredients in creating a video game. I'd argue that Final Fantasy VII, gameplay-wise, it's fine, it's good, but it never would have reached its level of popularity had it not been for its brilliant cast of characters. Or like, look at Sonic, a product of intense, 90s focus testing. Still remains popular to this day, even after enduring countless, terrible entries in the series. Truly a well-crafted character, one that resonates with players, it really is what keeps people coming back for more. It's invaluable to the longevity of a franchise. So for an established series to go against all conventional wisdom and abandon their protagonist in their newest game, while hiding the real main character in all of the game's promotional material, well, they need to be out of their minds. They'd need to be Kojima levels of crazy. What's wrong with you? What we're looking at right now is the Metal Gear Solid 2 trailer that was featured at E3 2000, 21 years ago. Pretty mind-blowing. And this game was absolutely revolutionary for its time. Hell, I still think that this game looks great. But let's watch it real quick. Yep, that sure looks like Metal Gear. But those who are familiar with Metal Gear Solid 2 Sons of Liberty, you know that something very important is missing from this trailer. And then there's the TGS trailer from 2001. Yeah, more tactical espionage action featuring our favorite Kurt Russell from Escape from New York inspired legendary clone Spec Ops soldier Solid Snake. Kept you waiting, huh? And man, the hype for this game was palpable. You gotta keep in mind, Metal Gear Solid on the PS1 was a massive hit, incredibly influential, and the first year of PS2 games was lacking to say the least. So when Metal Gear Solid 2 finally released in November of 2001, it was a big ass deal. And while it was definitely a hit amongst critics and fans, there was a subsection of fans who felt a little duped. You see, the game starts off as most would expect, Snake on a secret recon mission aboard a tanker that's harboring a new Metal Gear. Except, in dramatic fashion, the entire mission goes awry and the sequence ends with the ship sinking into the ocean, with Snake along with it. Cut to two years in the future, and we're back on another mission, this time on a large marine decontamination facility called Big Shell. And after a bit of deliberate misdirection, it's revealed we're not playing as Snake? No. No, we're not. And it's here we're introduced to our new hero, the real protagonist of Metal Gear Solid 2. Raiden. No, Raiden. Raiden. That's an odd name. And we play as him for the rest of the game. For real. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. MGS2 is about a 10 to 12 hour long game, and Snake is only playable for the first hour or so. Personally, I like Raiden. I think he's a good contrast to Snake, who's a grizzled, experienced soldier. Raiden's young, he's a rookie, and this is his first operation in the field. But while I liked him, not everybody agreed. In fact, the bait and switch of Snake for Raiden was incredibly divisive and sparked quite a bit of controversy because again, look at the game's trailers. All of the marketing, the TV spots, everything, Raiden, the character you play as for more than 90% of the game, is completely absent. Metal Gear Solid 2. <laughs> Can you imagine if this happened today, in this modern era of video game marketing and coverage and games media influencers? How would people react? We live in a time where people lost their shit over puddles in Spider-Man 4 hashtag Puddlegate. This is a time where a graphical downgrade can land a company a class action lawsuit. How the landscape has changed. And look, it's not like Snake is absent for the rest of the game. Spoilers, he didn't really die in the intro. They played us like a damn fiddle! My name is Pliskin. Iroquois Pliskin. Lieutenant Junior Grade. He actually rears his head back into the story fairly quickly to mentor Raiden, going by the name Pliskin, of course. 
Metal Gear Solid 2's design documents, which were circulated online and translated to English, it was discovered that one of the main goals with Raiden's inclusion was an attempt to appeal to a female player base. So, you know, this sequence now starts to make a bit more sense. Amazing how you walk around like that. Snake! Been waiting long. I feel like nowadays people either think that Kojima is one of the greatest game creators of all time, or they think he's one of the most overrated. He's a polarizing creator, that's for sure. If you were to ask me, I love a lot of his work, but I would also admit that they're not for everyone. One thing I've always appreciated, though, is the less than typical approach he has to marketing his games. Who could forget the fake Moby Dick Studio, Joaquin Mogren, and the bait and switch with the Phantom Pain? Faux marketing that drew parallels to the game. Politics play a huge role in Metal Gear Solid 2's plot. Themes of controlling the government, controlling the media, fake news, things that are oddly very relevant today, persist throughout the game's narrative. This country is shaped and controlled as the Patriots see fit. The people are shown what they want to believe. The Patriots seek to control the population and show people only what they wanted to see. Show people only what they want to see. Kind of how this game was marketed, wasn't it? And although not everyone loved Raiden, the game made up for it for being absolutely excellent. And as time has passed, it's considered to be a classic, as pretty much all of the Metal Gear games are. There's really not a dud in this entire series, and Raiden's journey, of course, didn't end with Metal Gear Solid 2. He played a significant role in Metal Gear Solid 4, and even got a spin-off game of his own, Metal Gear Rising. Revengeance. Raiden is back. Woo! My honor to introduce the creator of Metal Gear Solid. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Deep Cuts. As always, let me know what you thought about it. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. And uh, check out the Deep Cuts playlist for more stories similar to this one. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Peace.